is of no ethnic group. That's right. The Lord is of no eth. In fact, the Lord is before ethnic group. That's right. Are you listening? That's right. Before there was any ethnic group in the world, yeah. God was here. That's right. Amen. Let's take it apart. You see, we just don't read Bible. Yeah. We explained it. Yeah. Take it apart. Yeah. Strip it bare. Yeah. Thank God to give you an understanding. That's right. Let's go back to the book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7 and verse 9. Follow me. I beheld till the thrones were cast down. I beheld till the thrones was cast down. And the ancient of days did And sit. God, <laughs> Yahweh, right. yeah. Elohim, right. Jehovah, the Father, that's right. The Creator and the Ancient of Days. Who is that God? The Ancient of Days did sit. Did sit. Whose garment was white as snow. Whose garment was white as snow. And the hair of his head like and the pure the wool. And the hair of his head like the pure wool. Like. He didn't say it was. Okay. Like the pure wool. It compared yes. his hair. That's right. To the comparison. Of wool. That's right. At no time it said he had woolly hair. Like the pure wool. It said like. It's like if you see a man who's dressed like a woman, you say he's like a woman, but he's not a woman. So God, the scriptures compare. That's right. His and the hair of his head. The hair of his head. Like the pure wool. It ain't never said his hair is woolly. <laughs> you couldn't see God because God is the spirit. But God was in Christ Jesus, 2 Corinthians. Real quick now. Yeah, yeah. Stay ahead of me. 2 Corinthians chapter 5. I want to show you where the Spirit of God was located. 2 Corinthians within chapter 5. the flesh of the Son of God. That's right. Uh -huh. 2 Corinthians 5 and verse 19. Listen. To wit, to wit that God, was, that in God Christ. was in Christ. In Christ. In Christ. Doing what? Reconciling, Reconciling the world unto himself. God was in the flesh. That's right. God was in that Son. God was in the lamb. God was in the sacrifice. And when he was in that sacrifice, when the sacrifice died, the spirit of God offered them up. It was an offering, a sacrifice for the world. So wool represent he's a sacrifice. That's right. First chapter of the book of Revelation, quickly Revelation now. Chapter were white, white wool. His, listen, his head and his hair. His head and his hair. Where white, where white, white wool. is compared to the whiteness of wool, and what else is it compared to? As white as snow. Snow is one texture. Yeah. Wool is another. That's right. It dealt with the color of his hair, yeah. not the texture of it. That's right. Listen again. His head and head his hairs and hairs were white, were white, white wool. were white, were white, like were wool. white. Like wool, as white as snow. as white as snow. It was dealing with the color, not the texture. That's right. So you that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. That's right. So you that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. Amen. I don't care what color he is. That's right. So you that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. Amen. I don't care what color he is. You don't obey him, your black self is going to hell. You that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. Amen. I don't care what color he is. You that's walking around here worrying about what color God is, you're wasting your energy. Amen. I don't care what color he is. You don't obey him, your black self is going to hell right next to the white man. I want to give all the praises and the honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah Bahashem, Aracha Ha Kwadash, and double honors to the elder apostles and elder bishops of Great Millstone. Uh, also, Shalom. To you other brethren, you followers of the truth, you few sisters, fellow believers, and shalom to the elect. 
So anyway, um, you know, the reason why we open like we open, you know, because a real apostle is a messenger sent forth by the Lord to do and bring forth the works. This guy <laughs> sits in a building, makes a little bit of Hebrew, a little bit of Christian, a little Jehovah, a little bit of Seven Day of Venice. This man has managed to comprise 20 doctrines to create his own doctrine. That, <laughs> that's what it is. That's what we see. This man is a fraud. So anyway, this man will also try to figure out or find any way to say that the Most High and His Son is not so-called black. But he says, I don't care what color he is or something like that. This guy is clearly a fraud and he's really doing it for the you know, for the fans, the audience, you know, that's why he makes his, his cheese, his cheddar. But anyway, let me get some scriptures and we're going to prove the like war or as war with the original translation says. We're going to show you in a blue letter that it is talking about that. So, but first let's go to First John 4, uh, I think, and 3. Let's see what that says. Uh, John, let's go to John 4, verse 3. And every spirit that confesseth not that Yahweh, they say Jesus Christ here, is come in the flesh, is not of the Most High, right? Not of Yahweh. And this is the spirit of an Antichrist. Wherefore ye have heard that he should come, even now is already in the world. Right, because there's many antichrists. Let me go to two. Hereby know ye the spirit of Yahweh. Every spirit that confesseth that Yahweh Shah is come in the flesh is of God, it says here. Is of the most high, man. Because you're recognizing his um uh his son, right? So here's the crazy problem I'm having, right, with this fraud you know fraudulent pastor he is trying to disprove the color of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh let me say Jesus Yahweh he's saying that it's not he's not black he even titled it that he's not so called black because nobody's black but then he says he don't care what color he is so if he don't care what color he is why is he concerned about what color we think he looks like or we believe what is being said by John in the scriptures you got to remember John did not have John the Revelator did not have to openly say hey Jesus is a so called black man because it was well known it was because of his distinct complexion his glowing complexion okay as a as a of the, as the son of the most high well melanated right but this man, somehow the white man, he had no problem stressing and reiterating over the years that Jesus was a white man. He even put the pictures up. But yet a guy like this never swooped in and said, well, you know what? I don't care what color he is. Nope. We all accepted it. But since the Hebrew Israelites came out, he took hold of the doctrine. He got himself a reader. Right? Right? He's a parrot Hebrew that's doctrinated in Christianity. That's all he is. But he won't take all the Hebrew doctrine. Right? So anyway, let's go into this real quick. Let's go to Daniel 7 and 9. Okay, in um, the blue letter. It says, I beheld till the thrones cast down and the Ancient of Days did sit whose garment was white as snow. So it's describing his garment. No, his garment wasn't snow, but it's describing the color of his garment and his hair on his head like the pure wool, right? So it's describing the hair on his head like the pure wool. But where do you get the hair separated from wool? You know, this ain't the same thing as 
white as snow. This is hair on his head like the pure wool. Right? So this had to be describing his texture of his hair. It had to be. And everybody knows it. It had to be. Or other other than that, it was said his hair. How else would you describe hair? Either stringy, you know, long stringy hair. But see if that texture said his hair was like thread, you know, yarn string or thread, let me say that. Or his hair was like uh straight hair or whatever, I guarantee you this guy wouldn't have a problem because we wouldn't be able to mention it. But now that the truth is out, where was these guys fighting? for um, the, the Lord then. Now that the truth is out, now everybody has to get along. Everybody has to love one another. And all of a sudden, it doesn't matter what color he is. Well, for truth's sake, color doesn't matter right now because our people are amongst all nations due to uh, Revelation 7 and 9. But for truth's sake, why would you lie on the Most High and His Son? Because if you had a license and you lost your license and they gave it back to you with your name and a white man on it and you're a so-called black man guess what you're going to run back to the motor vehicles and say this is not mine so anyway when you go to the other translations the Britain Septuagint said his hair on his head as pure wool or in the Bible 1382 it said the heads on the head the hairs on his head was as clean wool and it also says and his feet uh, as of lantern. We'll get into that too. Right? So let's go back here because I don't want to jump all off of this um, situation here. Uh, and his hair of his head like the pure wool. So when you go to the blue letter, H6015, guess what it says? It says wool. And then when you go on down here and it says, like the pure wool, 86015. What does it say? What does it say? The pure wool. Like the and wool, they have the same definitions. You got to remember this English. You had the translations from the Hebrew to the Greek, Hebrew, Greek, Latin, right? So you got to go into the words and sometimes... Because this language, the words always constantly changing in meaning. That's why you have a definition of one a. If you put a definition of tie down t i e, you, you you could think of a necktie, but you could think of a race that you won, you know, or where, or like where you're going, or where, like what you wear, you know. So you got it there, there, and there, you know. So you got to be able to go into the translations and go into the text. And see exactly what it's talking about. So here when it says like the pure wool. H5343. 53, it says okay, clean. So when it says pure wool it means the, as the clean wool. Right? Which clean wool don't have any uh, you know, messed up things involved in it. Like real okay won't have any um impurities you can have wool that's not clean not pure so this means his hair was pure wool you know even though old english say wool was the hair of the negroes you can look that up so this is crazy the bible speaks of so-called being black you know Niger but this guy doesn't want that he says that Yahweh the Lord's not dealing with ethnicity the Lord has no ethnicity the, well he says the most high well the most high has what he want to have and you know what he wanted he wanted his, he wanted uh, he created a people for him Leviticus 20 26 as I put in there uh, let's go to Hebrews 7 and 14. It says, For it is evident that our Lord sprang out of Judah. Why Judah? Why did he just spring out of everybody? 
He didn't have to have him come out of Judah. He didn't have to do that. But why? Because those were his chosen people. Whether you like it or not. But then you got these step it, you know, <laughs> Christians who want to all of a sudden when Christ, as they call him, we ain't saying that name, came, he just came to deliver all, save all. And these fools will go around claiming they saved. I don't think he teaches that because, again, he watched a little of our doctrines, got a little uh, up under his belt, and then spread it out like GMO jelly, man. Right? That's what this guy does. Let's go to Amos 3 and 1. Hear this word the Lord has spoken against you, O children of Israel, against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt, saying, You only have I known of all the families of the earth. Therefore, I will punish you for your iniquities. So clearly, over and over, the Most High had a chosen. He had a chosen lineage. But somehow, he has a problem with that. He has a problem with the color, right? Now, when you go into Revelation 1 and 13, I'm jumping back on that now. When you go into Revelation 1 and 14, and it says his feet like unto fine brass, when really the, the, the terminology, his feet as fine brass, right? Again, it's describing it. How did this foolish man have the nerve to say, when it says white, like wool, or as wool, the true terminology, that all of a sudden is not speaking of wool. Then why put wool in there? Why even describe his texture? Why even bring it up about his hair? If it was for everybody, it didn't matter. It was all love and all great nations and people. Then why was his, his, his lineage, number one, the son's lineage mentioned? Why was his hair texture mentioned? Why was his skin color uh, mentioned? You know? So they're trying to find everywhere. All you got to do is go to the old English books and they'll, they'll break all that down. Uh, let's go to Latin. means an alloy copper. And it goes on to say his feet was like uh, Latin as it burnished. This is the, the 1382 Bible. As it burnished in a chimney. You know what a a burnt chimney looks like this is crazy how these guys it just totally threw that out of the way look at these pictures here this is alloy copper i believe i already have them up that is alloy copper very dark right but that's not even burned now when you go to fine brass fine brass is another uh terminology for alloy copper so fine brass is a very dark brass. Not those trumpets and flutes that you see with that imitation gold. That's not brass. Nope. This is a derivative of brown, but that ain't brass. Brass will look more like your penny. But fine brass will look like a very, very dark penny. As it burned, would be even more darker. You know? So all the clues and all the evidence is in the scriptures. And then he goes on to say, if a man put on a woman's dress, <laughs> it's not a woman, but he's like a woman. No, he's not a woman. He's not even like a woman. He's just a man wearing a woman's garments. And, uh, and when you're going into, that, going into that topic, dealing with that, it's all about the dress. It don't have nothing to do with the damn man. But somehow he linked he tried to say because it says uh, fine um, brass or uh, like wool. He's trying to separate them too. No, they are together. Like wool is what it is. A man wearing a dress. Yeah, he's wearing a dress. Maybe trying to be a woman, but he can't be one because he's not. But that dress he's wearing is a woman's apparel. So it still is of women that particular dress so when you say a long skirt like a dress then okay you can you're describing this dress it's long but see all this these guys and all this madness and all he's doing is gassing their heads up and anybody comes up to our camp vocab and all them man they all get destroyed with the scriptures and they all run off we had a guy come up 
I think it was some of Vocab's crew. I don't know who it was. And I said, okay, no problem. I, I don't think, I don't know who it was, but they had the cameras. They were Christians. And I said, um, just don't, stop, don't cut it and don't go take a little part and put it up on YouTube just so you can win your argument. And you know what they did? They put that damn camera down and walked off, man. Because you come up with this madness with us, right? We don't have to deal with you, but we have the knowledge. We have the 100% truth of the scriptures. We've done the research, right? Which we were taught to. We were taught to look up words, go into words. This guy is a complete fraud. 